Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a text behind the object like this in PowerPoint. I'll teach you the main principle as simple as possible and I hope you can create another version of the text behind the object by yourself. Okay, let's insert a picture from your files. If your picture is in 69 ratio like this, you can click on cropping option and move these handles carefully to make sure if the picture can fill all of the slide. Once you're done, duplicate it and then click on format background you can start draw the areas to keep by the pen no need to rush guys because sometimes it's better if you do it slowly keep the change and now you have this mountain object on top of the background move it to the same exact position like background here's the thing make sure you open the selection pane because this is where you know which position of the object based on layer order now go to insert text box and then type your text here I change the font and then align it to the center. Let me change the color to white so it's more visible. Duplicate the text. Select and block the newer text. Open format text effect. In the text option, make sure to add outline and remove the fill of the text. Add little bit of width and then change the outline color to white. So now we have these two type of the text. One is fill only and another one is outline only. In the selection pane, let's change the object's name one by one. We do this to make it easier for us to add identify the objects so rename it as you like guys now send the field text object to below of the mountain object like this for the outline only text move it to exact top of the field text that's it guys that's how we create the text behind objects so now as you can see here when we select and block the text we can slide it like this it looks cool right you may save it as picture if you want now for a little bit of animation touch let's duplicate the slide we'll create a parallax animation in the last slide, select and block the background and mountain object while holding Ctrl and Shift key, drag it up so that the pictures appear much bigger. Now, select and block all of the slides, go to Transition tab and then add Move Transition. If you do it everything right, it'll look something like this. Alright, the download link of the PVD is available in the description. Click like and subscribe if you think this channel helped you. I'll see you guys in the next video with more straight to the point tutorial. Thanks for watching.